joining us this morning. Um, this will be about 45 minutes long, and just the format of the webinar before we get started here is um, I do have you all in mute, and so if you have any questions, you will need to type in the questions panel, and I will check that periodically to see if there are any concerns or questions that you have that I haven't addressed as I've been speaking, but uh, why don't we go ahead and get started here. So you should all be able to see my screen. Again, my name is Sierra Stewart, and I am with Corfac. And today we're going to go over um, the direct mail system that Corfac offers. And just a little bit about Corfac. Uh, we've been around since 2005, although if any of you are with, familiar with Corfac at that time, it was a little bit different model. So we're not going to go into a history lesson today, but um, it has changed and elevated and become quite a unique, awesome tool today that I'm really excited to share with you. Our CEO calls it direct mail on steroids. So uh, I love that, that concept. And we are primarily a direct mail company. We're based out of Northern California. And uh, we are direct mail, but with a technical and technology edge and component that allows you, as an agent, to really capitalize on um, all the advances in technology. So uh, I'm just going to check my control panel really quickly here. I had some technical difficulties. I want to make sure that everybody is able to see and hear. I don't see any concerns about that, so we'll keep going. OK. Um, great, so this is the Corfac website, and I access this by going to corfac.com, www.corfac.com. I'm already logged in, but if you don't have a login or an account with us, you would simply hit sign up and enter in your um, email and a password, and that would create an account for you, and then you can begin using the system. Um, direct mail, in general, is uh, you know just a little bit about direct mail before we get into Corfac specifically. Um, direct mail, I believe, is so valuable for real estate and always will be an effective tool for the real estate market, despite all the advances in technology, for the simple reason that it allows access to a targeted area without prior permission. And the only other way to do that, really, is door knocking. So what do I mean by that? Um, well, well, all of your other marketing, if you look at um, your internet and your blogging, and even um, newspaper and print um, at, um, as far as magazines go, that's all mass marketing. So you're not targeting a specific area. And real estate is still one of those businesses that is really unique to a neighborhood or a few streets or a targeted area. And you can't email without permission. That's permission-based. Um, phone calling, again, you have to be so careful with all the, the phone legislation now. So really, the only way you can get access to a targeted area is by mailing or by door knocking. And uh, I do believe door knocking is, is more effective, although when I do office presentations, I'll often ask for a show of hands. Who here in this office loves the door knock? And I'll usually get maybe one or two hands. Um, so it's not everybody's favorite. So um, if you can't get into an area any other way except for direct mail or door knocking, you don't like to door knock, well, uh, you do the math. What are you left with? You're left with direct mail. So here we are. Uh, not to mention that direct mail is um, not as expensive. It allows you to reach a wide number of people at a low price per um, per piece as well. Um, that being said, the typical challenges with direct mail are that it has a low response rate. Typical direct mail is 1% or less, and then it's not trackable. And so a lot of times I'll, I'll work with agents who have sent out direct mail for years and not really had any uh, understanding or comfort level that they're getting their money's worth uh, because unless someone calls directly off of a direct mail piece saying, hey, can we, can we meet? I'm thinking about listing my home. Uh, unless they get that call, they don't know if people are looking at it. They don't know if people are responding to it. It's not like the internet where you can track through your clicks or uh, see how many page views you've seen. Uh, direct mail typically hasn't worked like that until now. So now here we are at the CoreFact site and we'll Go ahead and look at how Corfax um, both increases your response rate and provides a trackable resource for you in your direct mail needs uh, with your geographic farm. So again, here we are on the Corfax site. Um, you will notice that Corfax offers lots of different templates. And our online site is template-based, meaning that we have templates that you can choose and customize with your content and photography if you're using a property marketing piece like a Just Listed or Just Sold. You would upload your own photographs for that. Um, same thing with our flyers down here at the bottom. And I'm not going to get too much into the brochures and flyers just to keep this um, time uh, sensitive. But know that we can print these for you. 
And we can also do newsletters. Uh, we have the ability for you to upload your own designs if you'd like to just use us for printing. There are no setup fees or additional charges. If we do that, we're just going to, to pay or charge you the cost per piece. And I'll just cover over the pricing here so you can see what that looks like. For example, with an eight and a half by five and a half card. Uh, but again, this is our online um, store that we have here. If you would like custom work done, we do have the capability to offer that to you. If uh, you would like to speak with one of our designers, call this number up here, this customer service number. We can give you a quote based on um, custom work that you may want, whether that's custom um, marketing pieces uh, or just customizing existing templates. We can help you out with either. We'll give you a quote based on what you're looking to do. But what I'm going to focus on today is the online system. And so if we go into postcards and look at the home estimate map cards, You'll notice something really unique about our card that differentiates us from other direct mail vendors. And I'll pull this one up here, this home estimate, so you can see it a little bit larger. And that is, we have a map over on the left-hand side of this card that is a variable data component. What I mean by variable data, that sounds like a big, big phrase. Um, variable data is the ability to print unique information on every card. Now, for most direct mail vendors, that means the mailing address. <laughs> um, but for Corfac, we take that a few steps further, and we print really, um, we have a layout and a template that is the same for every card that you're sending in your mailing. But the, there are many variable elements to it, in addition to, of course, the mailing address. So here we see this map over on the left. This home, this red house, is here in the middle. And that home is the same and in the center for every card that we print. What varies is the map that is behind it. This map actually changes for every single card we print, and it reflects the home that we are sending to. And these souls are actual souls in the area. We pull this information from public record, and we just print the little fold signs on there. So someone getting a card like this, instead of a typical direct mail card, which may just say, um, you know, call me for a, a CMA or um, do you know what your home is worth that really doesn't have um, any of that data on the card. This, the, home, the recipient of the card is going to look at it and say, the Penrod Drive, that's right around the corner, on East Side Circle, that's where, wait a minute, that's my house. How did they do that? And it just engages them on an entirely different level. And so it captures their attention. And because of that, we do see a higher percentage response. Oh, that was interesting. <laughs> Hopefully you can all still hear me. Um, so we do see a higher percentage rate with, uh, with Corfac as far as response rate. We do see on a Corfac mailing a 2 to 4% response rate versus the typical direct mail, which is the 1% response rate. How do we know? Well, we actually provide the tracking. We'll get into that here in a couple of minutes. But first, I just want to show you a little bit more about the variable data that we can print. If you look at a Corfac card, Right here, this is a, a bracket, a double bracket, outside homeowner name and outside address. Anytime you see a double bracket, that is also variable data. So this would be the front of the card. They're going to have a map that corresponds to the recipient's address. And then over here on the right, we're going to say homeowner John Smith and their address, 123 Main Street. So it's going to say John Smith, 123 Main Street, get your free home estimate instantly. And it's going to... Um, have the variable data there. I am just going to pull up the control panel, make sure you can all still hear me. You can. I just I don't know if you all heard that, but I did have a little entry not valid remark about a minute ago. So just want to make sure we didn't lose audio. I had a, an issue yesterday with audio, so just a little sensitive to that today. Okay, moving on. That's one way that we can pull variable data. Another is if you go into our market update series. Oh, this is super cool. You're going to love this. Okay, under the market update series, now this market update concept, recent home sales, we actually had a client focus group and ask them, what is the most valuable thing your real estate agent can provide for you? So take note, this is it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what they said. Uh, I'm, I'm giving you a big hint by what I just pulled up on the screen here. Uh, but they said, is it fee package? Is it uh, mortgage rate? Is it um, school scores? You know, what is the most valuable thing your, your real estate agent can provide for you? This is it. They want to know what has sold in their neighborhood. That, according to the client focus group, was the most valuable thing that you can provide to them as their real estate agent. So typically, if you've um, sent out pieces like this, and many of you probably have, you've had to go into MLS and look up 
all the sales in the area and you've had to create something like this that would apply to everyone in your neighborhood that you're sending to. And um, typically if you had past clients that have moved out of the area uh, or were in multiple areas, you would either have to pull a separate list or they just wouldn't get one of these cards because you wouldn't have time to, to pull a unique list for everyone. Well, Corfax has the capability, again, because we're accessing public record and pulling this information, we have the capability to pull a unique market update for every one of your recipients. That's right. <laughs> we can actually pull this information. It's going to be based on the address that we're sending to, and so it could potentially be unique for every single person receiving it. Now, of course, um, realistically, because we haven't seen a ton of activity in most places, if you're sending you know, to one street, they may all get the same, uh, the same information. But conceptually, if you've got people that have moved out of the area or in different, um, different neighborhoods, they would get different home sales. In order to take advantage of the automatic market update, you would need to contact customer service because we need some additional information before you want to have a conversation with you. Um, this is our manual version. So this is more the traditional version where you would be looking up all that information. But if you'd like us to send one out that's unique to every recipient, give us a call. We'll get that set up for you. That's an awesome uh, piece that we have there. And then one last version, just to give you another one last idea of how we can print variable data. It's here in the I Have Buyers section. And this whole section of postcards was designed for the state of the market right now, which is uh, there are a lot of buyers for reseller, not the great time to sell. All of these kind of have that concept if you look at any of these designs on our site. And above this, um, I'm waiting for it to scroll here. There's that one I wanted to show you. Again, we see those double brackets with the homeowner name on the front of the card. Now this one is I have buyer's card. This one is talking about uh, you are looking, you have buyers looking for a specific kind of uh, property, number of bed, number of bath, and the city name. This is our manual version. Okay, so you're going to type in how many bed, how many bath they're looking for in the city name. All, if you're sending out 500, all 500 would have the same information. Okay, that doesn't have any variable data. This automatic one, we'll pull this up. This one does have the variable data. You'll see the bed and bath as it pulls up. There we go. The bed and bath are in the double brackets. So it says bed, bath, and the city name. So what that means is the person getting, the person living in a four bed, two bath house in San Francisco would get that card. The person living in a three bed, one bath house in Berkeley would get that card. So they're going to get cards specific to their situation. Okay, funny story, funny true story. I got a card like this in the mail, and it said, I have buyers searching for Four, and a half, four bed, two and a half bath in Pleasanton Meadows, and it was the neighborhood that I live in. And um, so I got this card, and I thought to my, okay, I work for Corfax, <laughs> so backing up, you know, this is the company I work for, this is what I do. Um, I got this card, and my mindset was, oh my gosh, I can sell my house. And then for about four seconds, and then I thought, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> number one, we're not thinking about selling our house. Uh, number two, we know how they did this because we work for the company. But uh, the mindset of just being engaged and having someone specifically looking for your home, I mean, I fell for it. It was, I mean, I was ready to sell my house for the, that split second. So your clients are going to feel exactly the same way. They're going to they're going to be captured and amazed that someone is looking for a home just like theirs. So it's it's a pretty exciting piece. So all of those just, uh, and there are more, of course, but just for time's sake, just to point out a few of my favorites. One last thing I'll show you here on our designs, and I'm going to get into um, our, our call to action and our tracking and what, how we are able to track and capture the responses from these cards. But one last thing I'll, I'll point out, um, here we have our local expert series, which if you are the kind of person that you don't want to go online and customize orders and um, work on all this. You just want to sign up for something and know what's going on every month. This is a great series to do that with. Um, it's actually, I believe, our most popular series as far as automating. We do have the capability, if you like, to automate your postcard mailing. So there are 12 of these in the local expert series. This series is um, just as it says, it describes why you want to work with someone locally and why that's important. And we can send these out on a regular basis if you say, I don't want to think about my marketing, I just want to get it set up so that when I get busy and I have all of my, you know, summertime is a, a really busy time typically for real estate. And then the slower months, you're trying to backfill because you haven't been 
um, sending out or doing your marketing during your busy time, well, what if we just had it on autopilot for the year? Well, we can do that with this series. If you uh, call customer service or respond to my, my follow-up email, we can get you set up on that. But if you look at a card like this, you know, it does say the homeowner name in the double bracket, but it doesn't really seem like there's a lot of variable information on a card like this. But if you look at the back, the reason I'm pointing this out is all of our backs are available in conjunction with all of our fronts. And so if you chose a sports schedule front or um, a seller's tips front or this one, the local expert front, then we can incorporate the home estimate concept with the variable data on the back. While I'm showing you the backside options, I'm going to go over pricing and a few other options here. So let's look at pricing since I've got that on the on the screen right now. Pricing is going to be based on your quantity and your mailing rate. So most people that we're working with are going to send out standard mail. Uh, we are mailing from Northern California, so keep that in mind with your turnaround time. So we deliver out of or we take uh, to the local post office in San Jose, and so depending on where you are in the country. Um, obviously, we see that our eastern states and midwestern states take a longer delivery time than our west coast states, and obviously, Northern California is very, very quick. Um, so keep that in mind. Standard mail is five to fifteen business days, and we get it to the post office two days after, two business days after ordering. So today is Thursday. If you got it to the post office, or if you ordered with us today, we'd get it to the post office on Monday. That's two business days, and then the post office has five to fifteen business days. From that point, and I, I want to emphasize that 15 business days is three weeks. So a lot of times people think, oh, that's only two weeks. No, business days is the <laughs> five days a week. So uh, just keep that in mind for your turnaround time. Um, if you've got something that's time sensitive, you may consider upgrading to first class for that particular mailing. If timing isn't as important to you, then standard mail will work just fine. Uh, but our mailing rate, so for example, if you were going to mail out 500 cards, standard mail. 69 cents a piece is what you would pay. We don't have any additional setup fees. We don't have any, um, we don't charge tax or shipping on the mail pieces. It's all inclusive. So that's all you're paying. If you're choosing a print only piece, we do charge shipping and tax on the print uh, only pieces because obviously we've got to ship it to you and then you do need to distribute it on your own. Honestly, we hardly do any print only pieces because when you look at the price of distribution, um, it doesn't make a lot of sense for us not to do that for you. So, um, but if there is an option, if you like it, beyond the 2000 quantity, uh, we do have a credit system. If you are planning to order 3000 or more pieces over the course of 18 months, we do have a volume credit system where you can actually get a lower price point and you basically lock in that rate, you pre-purchase the, the credits and then you can apply them to your orders throughout the year, but it does get you a little bit lower rate that you can apply on orders as low as our minimum of 50 pieces. So um, backside options, I showed you this one, which is kind of a classic Corfax back option, if you will. We also, if you see, have QR code options, which we have a QR code generator built into our editing, so all you would do is enter in your email or your URL, your web address, and we would generate the QR code. Something like this would be more of a traditional uh, mailing side. So if you like um, the print quality and pricing of Corfax, which many people choose to do and um, don't want to take advantage of our capture marketing and our call to action, this kind of traditional back is available as well. Uh, moving down where it says team, we've got a lot of options for this, you'll see there are two photographs and one logo. This would be if you co-list or work in a team, you can have both of your photos on there. And then one more set that I want to point out, this is a big trend right now. And so I know this is um, fine to do in California. Obviously, I'd, I'm not sure of all the legislation in other states. So um, keep that in mind, depending you know, on where you're located. But the concept here is that um, you could co-list, or not co-list, but co-market with a lender. And so that's why we show two logos and two sets of contact information. So this would be you, an agent, co-marketing with a lender and splitting the cost. So basically being more effective with your marketing dollars because you, you split that cost and you either save the money or uh, we're able to double the number of people that you could send to. And you both get exposure. I actually had an agent um, this last week ask me, Sierra, would there be any reason I would not want to co-market with this lender that I'm working with? And I said, um, do you have full confidence 
in their capability to service your client? You said, yes, absolutely. And I said, well, then no. <laughs> it's, it's a win-win. Um, you're going to get more bang for your buck, and you're going to expose them to someone you find a value could be a good um, reference for uh, for you and for them. So I think that's a, a great idea. So those are available. If you do take advantage of um, split billing with a lender, you will need to call customer service to process that order if you want us to do the split billing. We can't do that online. So just call us when you're ready to check out and we can divide divide that up between two different credit cards for you. Okay, so that kind of gives you an overview of our product and our print capability. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. What I want to show you next is our call to action and our tracking. So remember I was saying how we integrate with technology and bring the user online. So one of your clients gets this postcard and it says, get your free home estimate instantly, go to real estate home price and enter in this code. This code also is unique to the address and to you. It refers back to you and um, also refers back to this address. Now one thing I didn't mention before that I do want to bring up at this point is our system works with owner occupied. In that case, we send you the mailing address and it's the same thing as the map that we print and the code, they're all corresponding to the same address. It also works for non-owner occupied. In that case, we would send to the owner at their residence, and we would call that the, um, the uh, resident uh, address, and then, or the mailing address, I'm sorry, and then we would send it in regards to the owned property or the site address. We would have two columns on your mailing list, the site address and the mailing address. And so that allows you to really target the owners because this primarily is a listing, a listing tool for you. Okay, so they're gonna get this code. The code again is specific to the address. And we have actually two choices of where we can send them. Right here it says real estate home price. That's our default setting and that is a Corfax supported web page, which I will show you now. It's non-branded, it's non-agent specific, it just exists and it, it's for people that don't want to do what I'm gonna show you next, which is add a widget to an existing website. So this is what is printed on the postcard, real estate home price, they would come here and enter their code. My preference would be to do this, and this is, now we're looking at Jessica Seller, she is a, a made up uh, account that we have here at Corfax. If you've ever seen a Corfax sample live, you may have seen her photograph. She's just ice stock photography, she doesn't exist, but uh, we're using her, her fictional uh, accounts and, and website here to show some demonstrations. So um, that she's not a competitor in the marketplace, we'll just make, make you aware of that. Um, but what we've done on Jessica's account, and this would be, the URL would be something like jessicasellers.com. Okay, so this would be your personal website. What we've done is we've added a widget, and you can see I'm going around it right now. We've added a widget to an existing website, and I will show you how to do the code for that. Uh, I'll, I'm gonna touch on that briefly in a little bit, and just know that we will help you if you need help with that. But the goal here is really to drive them to your website. Uh, we don't care, they don't, this doesn't even say Corfax on it, so this doesn't really promote you or us, um, and they don't care who Corfax is anyway, and we don't want to promote us, we want to promote you. Really build your um, impressions and their awareness of you in the marketplace. So this would be my preference, but if you But let's say they went to jessicasellers.com, they got their postcard, they're now going to enter in their code, hit submit, and what they're going to be taken to is what we call a home estimate page, and it is going to show your contact information at the top, there's Jessica's information, it'll say welcome and the person's name, of course we've captured their name because the code corresponds to the recipient. And then we're going to show that map that was on the postcard with sold signs around it. And we're coming up with a home value range based on recent sales in the area. So I want to go through this. I want to spend some time on this. Um, before I go, I'm just going to check the control panel. Mary says I'm cutting in and out. I'm going to hold my, my speaker a little closer. Is that better, Mary? Let me know. Okay, so here is our home estimate page, and what we're showing is 
recent home sales based on certain parameters. Those parameters are number one, property class. So are we comparing single family residences or condos, townhouses, that kind of thing. Number two, lot size and square foot. These are huge lots, wow. Um, and then number three, bed and bath. And so, um, and this is fun for me to look at because uh, this is a demo account for Jessica and people do play with and update the, uh, the properties listed on here. So every time I log into this, this site, it's always got La Jolla here. It's always got a different address. And so it's always fun to see what values and properties are like across the country. So I believe this is, yeah, this is in the San Diego area. So it's fun to see what prices are going for down there. Uh, okay, so where do we come up with this home value range? Again, this is all public, um, public record. If you are in a non-disclosure state, please um, have a conversation with us following the webinar because we do need your help accessing that information. So please just be aware of that. But uh, for every other state where that information is publicly available, we are going to take the five closest, most recent sales from the target address. And that's where we're going to come up with this home value range. Now, that being said, this is not a static um, range. So it's not a Zillow where here's your exact amount. Watch what I can do with these sliders. So I can say the market is not great right now, or the market is super hot right now. And see when I slide, my home values decrease or increase. Same thing with property condition. Now I can say the market is amazing, it's hot, but uh, the property is not so great. Now, I don't know about you, but most clients are going to say my property is like way good. <laughs> so I actually had a client say to me one time, um, where's the excellent button? My property is excellent. Yours only goes up to good. <laughs> so I'm sure, I'm sure you know how clients are. So um, anyway, down here, same thing. They can go and select or deselect different properties. When they do so, that also affects the home value range. They can even select from the map, and it will show the description of that property, and it will highlight it down here, and you can select or deselect. Now, that being said, we do strive to show 25 records, and we will go back by default 18 months and one mile out from the target, the subject property. If you would like us to work with you on that data, we can control that. So if you have a preference where you would like us to not show anything past say 12 months or past uh, 0.5 miles, we can limit the results that are shown. We can also contain the variances on the home value by setting a floor or a ceiling or increasing or decre decreasing the property values by percentages. So we can play with this a little bit. Um, we, I generally find that, that agents fall into one of two categories and you figure out which one you fall into, but um, that either they just like the concept so much that they don't really care about the home values that are being sent out, or there are some of you that are very concerned about the, the values that are represented here. For those of you that are concerned with the values and want to make sure that they're accurate and, and um, to your approval, I'm going to show you how you can check on that before the mailings go out. Um, for those of you that you just like the concept and you just want to get the dialogue started, you know, great, then, then this will not be as uh, important for you. I, I will show you as far as checking it. So a couple other things on this page, and then we'll get to the next point, uh, we do specify that this is computer generated based on those parameters I mentioned. And if they would like a precise estimate and a free CMA, then they should click here. And that will pull up um, your contact information and the ability for them to contact you via email. If they do this, then you will be emailed um, immediately that they've done so. That is also available up here under Contact Me. We also have a pop-up that comes up after 15 seconds, and it says, would you like to receive this on a monthly basis? If so, enter in your email address, and we'll do the rest. Okay, so if they submit their email, then number one, you've got their email. So that's great, because up to that point, if they had just signed in using their code, you still are just going to have their name and address that they have gone on to view the site. That gives them the option to provide their email address to you, and then if they provide that, we will, CoreFact will at no additional charge send out a monthly email on your behalf detailing recent sales in the neighborhood. And again, that is um, at no additional charge, it's just included in the price of the postcards. 
So um, we can make that a mandatory, we can uh, make it a mandatory feature if you would like us to uh, not show this page before they submit either their email and or phone number. However, we do see that the responses go down when you pre um, require uh, personal information before seeing this page. So just keep that in mind. But we could we can make that change for you if you like. Okay, at this point I'm going to check for questions. Mary says the sound is better. Good. Sorry about that. Hope uh, other people were not disturbed by the in and out. Okay, so back to the tracking component. I'm going to go back to the core facts page here. Here we are. So someone's gone on and they've looked at that home estimate page. You're going to get a notification via email. You'll get a digest of activity as far as how many people just went on and looked around. You'll get notified instantly if someone hits that contact me button or signs up for that email. So you're going to know when people are going on to, to the CoreFact site. Uh, I'm going to walk through contacts and leads now and how you're able to track and preview that information even before it gets sent out. So let's talk about contacts. So number one, we've tried to, to choose which design we want. And I went through some different design options as far as choosing an automated uh, series or choosing um, one of the templates that are on the site here. But who are we going to send to? Well, we've got a few different options. Corfact has the capability to pull a radius list around a target. So if you give us a starting point and tell us how many houses you'd like to, us to mail to, we can pull that information for you. We do charge eight cents an address, and that's a one-time fee. You can use that list over and over again if you like, but um, we do charge for that. That list would then go into your account. You'd be able to view it after you purchased it. So that's one option. Another option is you can use your own list that either you've gotten from a title company um, in every state except Texas, because I understand they can't do that in Texas. So. Uh, any of you Texans on the phone, don't go to your title company for lists. <laughs> but the rest of you, you can get this from your title company for free. Or, of course, you can upload your own existing list. If we go under Learn More, we'll see a mailing list file format. I will email everyone on the call as a follow-up with this document. But this is what we're looking for if you are providing your own address list. We are looking for a CSV or Excel file. And the content, because we're providing the home estimate, we want to make sure that the data we're providing matches the subject property. So we need a little more information about that subject property. So first of all, if it's all owner-occupied, um, this is all we need. However, if it's not, or you've got a mixture, then that's where we get into the mailing address and the site address. So that way we can send to the owner in regards to their property at their residence. Okay, down here, this is the additional information we need about each property in order to provide that home estimate. So we would need property type, bed, bath, square foot, and lot square foot. This can be pulled from the by the title company for you, um, or we can generate that via the address list. Once you have that list, you can email it to us at customerservice@corfac.com, or if you go under contacts you can just choose to upload that list yourself. You can also upload it in the process of placing the order. You don't have to do it prior to. Unless you are, um, you would like to preview the information. So remember I was saying, some, some of you are going to be just fine with the information going out as is. Um, some of you are really going to want to fine tune and um, preview that information. If you want to preview the information, here's how you're going to do it. And we can call customer service if you don't remember this, or um, you're going to all get my contact information. You can call me and I can walk you through this. But the idea would be to search for a particular address, and once you find it, hit edit. So this would be once your address list is loaded, but before you've sent out the mailing, you're going to log in as the client. And that way you can preview the data. And if anything isn't to your liking, again, we're using this from public record, but um, obviously every neighborhood is unique and there may be instances that you're not comfortable uh, showing or variances that we can uh, work with you on so that you're satisfied with the information as it goes out through that pop-up that we were talking about. Did you see that was 15 seconds? <laughs> okay, so that's how you would preview the information uh, by logging in as the client. Contacts, again, are all the people that you're sending to. Leads are going to be your responses. And this is actually my favorite part of the CoreFact system and the biggest selling point about why we are different and unique from other direct mail vendors. 
it's the tracking of the responses and the ranking of the leads. So I'm going to walk you through this page now. Super exciting stuff. Over on the right, we are going to break down response rate by address group. And so uh, remember I mentioned typical direct mail has a 1% or less response rate. The core fact we see we have a 2 to 4% average response rate on a one-time mailing. With consistent mailings, that number goes up, and generally we see in a year time period that that can go up to 15%. And so if we look at this first, uh, first address list here, the 47 out of 569, 8% response rate, that's not a one-time mailing. That would be maybe four to six months. What we're seeing is after that time period, 8% of the people in this particular area of Los Altos were responding to going online from that postcard to the agent's website to enter in that code. That's pretty exciting. 1.8% response rate, 12 visitors out of 648. That's probably a one-time mailing. That's where you get your, you know, it's a little less than two, but definitely much higher than 1%. 9%, of course, that's, um, you know, multiple mailings. Now this one, one visitor out of 547. That's not a great response rate. You're at 0.18% response rate. And this is, again, Jessica's account. So this is a mixture of, of real data and made-up data. But just to point out, um, at least you know. Now, if this was a one-time mailing, um, you know, you figure it just it didn't work. Um, you know, people didn't pay attention to it. I wouldn't give up. Uh, I definitely believe that with the Corfax system, you're going to see the best results with consistent mailing and ongoing mailings because people maybe just didn't get it the first time. But if you've been mailing to this group for say six to twelve months and you still were at one visitor, I think that's great because at least you know. Uh, remember, I was saying so many agents that I've worked with in the past have spent lots of money, thousands of dollars, on direct mail campaigns and really just having no idea if people are interacting, responding to, um, really taking a look at their pieces. And this is going to tell you. So that's money that you're spending. You could redirect that into this Los Altos group, for example, or another area that you've been wanting to work. Um, because for whatever reason, it's not working in this area. But again, I, I do want to point out, um, don't give up after the first time. You know, we, we have some uh, partners that we're working with that are endorsing Corfact, and they are encouraging their agents to, um, if you're not going to mail for three months with Corfact, don't even start because uh, you do need, it's like going to the gym, right? <laughs> you don't go to the gym one day and, um, you know, you, you give up because sometimes it does take that ongoing effort to get the results. Just a quick story, a personal, you know, my, my experience, uh, I'm in the Bay Area, Northern California, and we used to belong to the Oakland Zoo. And my kids are older now, so we don't have our zoo membership, but we do get solicitations throughout the year with regards to renewing membership and, you know, come back and here's the deal with the zoo membership. We probably get, I don't know, a half a dozen or so uh, every year. Well, last fall for the election, there was a ballot initiative about the Oakland Zoo that I actually was really interested in because I do care about the zoo even though we don't get there as much anymore, but there was this uh, initiative on the ballot that I wanted to learn about and was very curious about. Well, we got to our house probably three direct mail pieces, you know, beautiful, gorgeous pieces like, like uh, Corfac would send out, uh, three pieces that I looked at and assumed were about the zoo membership. And so I didn't even really look at them. I just recycled them and said, oh, zoo membership, no, we're not going to do that. No, we're not going to do that. No, we're not going to do that. I think it was the fourth piece that I looked at. And I remember that the logo was the same as the ones I had just recycled, but I actually read it for whatever reason, and it said this is – that de these are the details of the ballot initiative. And I thought, oh my gosh, I've been throwing this away. I actually really care about this. Let me stop and pay attention to it. And so same thing with your clients. Okay, it doesn't mean that they're not interested. It just the timing may not be right. They may not get it. Uh, you know, now they've got a husband that just got a job offer in Chicago. And while they weren't thinking about it the first time you mailed out, now they're going to be. Uh, and so remember, it's, it's not their timing. It's, it's not your timing. It's theirs. Uh, sometimes I, I work with agents and they think that um, them sending out postcards is going to cause people to, to sell their homes. And it's not exactly going to work that way. Uh, they're, you sending out postcards is going to help them list their home with you. But uh, it's got to be their set of circumstances that's going to determine whether they're going to list their home or not. So just, uh, just some food for thought as far as marketing and direct mail goes. Uh, so that's our, our contact group response rate over here on the right. Over here on the left, this is really awesome. This shows individual response rates. And we rank them by their activity level. So if we click on Steven here, our, our top respondent, we can see all of his activity. So we're going to know date and time that he, they went onto the website, what they did, 
um, if they signed up for the email, if they contacted you, um, how often they went on, et cetera, et cetera. We're going to see a summary of the property information. We're going to be able to log in as Stephen, which just takes us back to that home estimate page so we can preview what Stephen saw. And then if we go back to the results, um, the one thing that, that I do want to point out is this activity level, and that is really the key. These half-star people, if we start with them, they probably just went in and looked around. They didn't sign up for the email. They didn't hit contact me. They just went and looked around. They're, they're maybe not going to be listing their home anytime soon, um, but they are the opportunity for you to build long-term relationships because if you think about it, they took a physical piece that you sent out, took the time to hold it, read it, go to a computer or tablet, type in your web address or the Corfac web address, wherever they went, type in a code, view you again. In some cases, these people, these half-star people, they've had three impressions of you from that one postcard. So think about it. Uh, we talk about impressions from a marketing standpoint. Coca-Cola is the most recognized brand in the world. And they say on average we have six impressions of Coca-Cola every day, and that's why it becomes the most recognized brand in the world. So if you think about your marketing as creating impressions and creating recognizability in your area, you've gotten three impressions off of one marketing piece. So talk about bang for buck and value for dollar with Corfax. That is, that's huge. So they've gotten the physical mailing piece, right? So they got the piece in the mail. They got their postcard. Number two, they got... Um, they went to your website, so that's their number two impression. And then number three impression, I don't think I have any of them pulled up anymore. Here we go. Number three impression was your contact information up here at the top of the home estimate page. So right away, bam, 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 they got three impressions of you. So these people here, where do I have it open? The half star people, they, um, they, may not be selling their home today, but they've gotten three impressions of you, and you are well on your way to establishing a relationship with them. I think I uh, I closed out what I was working on, so pardon me as the, the computer scrolls to that. Uh, above the half star, you probably saw there were some five star people, so I'll just talk about that while my computer tries to find where I was before. I'm, ta I'm tabbing between... There we go. Um, these five-star people, now this is, this is the exciting part. These five-star people, what we've seen is in order to get a five-star rating, they would have to hit contact me or request a CMA. They'd have to reach out to you and, and give, either your, give either their email or phone number to you. And what we've seen is for a client to be that proactive, they are typically 60 to 90 days out from listing their home. That's these five-star people right here. Because for them to reach out to you, they're serious. And now why 60 to 90 days? Because mentally it takes someone 60 to 90 days from making that decision to actually acting on it. So what do you do with these five-star people? You go out there and, and do what you do best. <laughs> you go be assertive and, you know, at, at minimum, I would say pull a CMA and go knock on their door. Uh, obviously, you're going to have either an email or a phone number for them because they've, they've submitted that to you to contact you. Um, but you don't have to, I mean, go to, you've got their address. That's the most important thing. I actually had a, a title rep that was working with an agent uh, to promote our company, and she had said to her um, agent, or go, go check your leads. And the, the agent said, well, I got a five-star. What should I do? And the title rep says, well, go knock, on their, go knock on their door. Go out there. Go get them. And so the agent pulled a CMA, drove out to the listing address, the person that had gotten the five-star ranking, knocked on the door, and the client opens the door, and sitting at the kitchen table was another agent with papers. And I thought, oh, uh, you know, and it's kind of a, a little bit of a sad story because they, you know, were a little bit too late. But the upside and the, the exciting reason I share that is because it shows that Corfac showed that agent an opportunity that that agent would have no knowledge of otherwise. So um, now, of course, they, they didn't get that one, but hopefully they'll be a little more proactive on the next one and maybe get in there a little bit sooner. So again, that's the exciting part. Uh, now, this is Jessica's account, so we've got fives and halves. Of course, on your account, you would have some threes and fours and twos. Uh, it wouldn't be so black and white, uh, but you get the idea. Another couple things I just want to point out with regards to the leads and the tracking here as far as the activity level is this can help you strategize working your farm area. For any of you that manage your list and assign tiers or rankings, 
Um, I know many people that follow, um, you know, Brian Buffini, et cetera, they have A level, B level, you know, et cetera, for their, their sphere of influence and their clients. And that's pretty easy to do for people that you've met and have relationships with. It's a little more challenging to do in a farm area where you haven't met a lot of the people other than maybe if you've, you've walked the neighborhood, maybe you've met a few of them but in general, and most of them you haven't met yet. Well, this is going to do your ranking for you so that you know where to spend your time and energy and money and resources. So if you are door knocking, for those of you that, that may enjoy or may, um, maybe you don't enjoy it, but you make yourself do it, uh, if you are door knocking, your half stars, are the ones that you don't just leave a piece of paper on. Those are the ones you actually knock on their door. They've had, remember, they've had three impressions of you. They've interacted with you to a degree. So they're going to be the ones most, ex, um, most open to meeting you and having that relationship. Or, you know, if you look at the 47 of 569, take this group here. I know a lot of agents do like to provide items of value throughout the year, whether that's a notepad or uh, pens or seed packs or what, whatever the case may be, but those get expensive. Why not just give to the 47 that have already engaged with you versus the 569 that you know all all the uh, 400 whatever rest haven't responded or 500 uh, rest have not responded. Just spend a little that extra on the 47 that have. You're going to have your best results from them anyway because they've responded to you. So again, let this let this help you strategize working that area by paying attention to the people that are paying attention to you. If that makes sense. Okay, I'm showing it's 11:47. I'm going to take a little break here. And okay, so Gracie is asking. I'm going to go through the questions here. Gracie is asking. We're a real estate team. Only one picture. We don't want separate photos. Can the, the cards made to be plural? We have buyers for your home. Can it be mail? Okay. So yes, they can. And if the design doesn't allow you to do that, just call customer service and we can make that that change for you, Gracie. So this is question number one. Can we make it plural? as far as the verbiage goes. Um, most of our designs are editable online. If you find the design you choose does not allow you to go from I to we, then let us know. We can make that change for you. Um, we did a mailing and got back about 100 return to sender. Can it be mailed to homeowner and or current resident? Um, can it be mailed to homeowner and current resident? Um, I'm not sure I'm understanding your question. Um, I don't know. Gracie, maybe you and I can talk afterwards because I'm, I'm not sure I'm understanding what you're asking as far as that goes. It, it would either mail to the homeowner or the current resident. It couldn't go to both um, unless it's a 100% owner-occupied neighborhood. Does that make sense? So I don't know if that answers your question, but I can, I can talk with you more after the, the call if you like. Okay, moving on, and just for time's sake, I'm going to move pretty quickly now so we can keep this under an hour because I'm already over the 45 minutes I said I was going to be. Uh, here under orders, it's going to detail uh, any orders that you have worked on that are upcoming or in the process. Under account, your personal information. We do want you to take the time to make sure all your personal information is correct because this is what's going to pull into each of the designs that you're editing. Um, change password if you need to do that. Widget generator, I'm going to do this pretty quickly, again, just for time's sake. For those of you that are not tech savvy, um, this is where I want you to just kind of plug your ears and just call us if you want to put the widget on your website. For those of you that are tech savvy, this is going to make perfect sense. But the concept here, remember, this is when we're adding the widget to an existing website. Here's what that widget looks like. The widget is just a tracker that allows the client to type in there code that corresponds to their home and then notifies you that they've done so. So that's what that, that widget does. We are going to customize it according to the layout of your website and placement on your website. And what I'm showing you right now is that you can change the size and layout of the widget. We can also change the color if we like. And I'm going to choose a really obnoxious pink. It actually kind of matches my shoes today, if you saw me. Uh, once we get it how we like it, you can play with this quite a bit. I always like to get the border a little deeper. Uh, once you get it how you like it, you're going to generate snippet, and then you're going to copy this code, and then paste that into the HTML source of your website. Generally, it looks like a text editor, and at the top or the bottom corner of that text box, you would see a tab that would say, HTML view or source view, you would click on that and then 
paste this in there. You don't want to paste this in the normal view because then you're going to see this on your website. <laughs> so just make sure it's uh, pasted into the correct area and then when you go to normal view you should see the widget. So that's the, the quick minute or less uh, widget upload explanation. Again, if you're not tech savvy, you can unplug your ears now and you can just call us at customer service and we can help you with the widget. Again, if you do have the widget on your website, then on your postcards, instead of directing people to real estate home price, then you would direct them to your personal website. A couple other things on here, notifications under account are how you are notified when someone visits your website. The only option you have here is to turn this off. Um, I can't imagine you'd want to do that. I think you want to know all the activity. Uh, but this is cool. The email capture, that's that message that pops up when they are on the home estimate page. And you can change the timing of that. It's 15 seconds, but you can change that. You can disable it if you like, or you can even change what the message is. And then if they do sign up for it, I'm clicking on email signature here, you can paste your personal signature here so there's uh, a cohesive look in all of your email communication so that when we send out on your behalf for anyone that signed up for that email, it looks just like your other emails that you're sending out. Um, banner, this is the last thing I'm going to show you, and then we'll wrap up. So the banner, this is what appears at the top of the home estimate page. Our banner right now is able to automatically pull your contact information, but not your photograph. So you would need to um, add the image and add your photograph here in order to have it appear on the top of the home estimate page. And we definitely think that's a good thing if you'd like to use your photograph in your marketing. So let me check on our questions. Okay, Daniel is asking, on the landing page, is there an ability to just allow the user to enter an address if they do not have the code? Um, there is not. We do not um, offer that. I know there are services that offer that, and um, we don't. What, we, what we've uh, told our users to do is to let me show you this. On the widget generator, you have the ability to change the verbiage, and so you could, instead of saying enter your access code for a free home estimate, we would say enter your access code or contact me for a free home estimate. In that case, what they would have to do is provide their address. And that's actually a good tool for you because then you've captured their address. And um, then you can enter them into your contacts and provide them their access code that way. And that would be the best way to do that. Again, Corfac really works um, best in a geographic farming area or farming um, to, to work a geographic farm where you're not going to have people necessarily stumbling across your, your website, but you are going to use print to direct them to your website. And so that's why we don't offer what you're asking for, Daniel. Okay, any other questions? Oh, Rusty is saying hi. Hi, Rusty. <laughs> nice to see you on the call. Uh, okay, anyone else? Uh, what is the minimum order to have access to the website to get the home values? Uh, so, Rusty, our minimum order is 50 pieces. Okay, so um, 50 pieces for the postcards. Okay, any other questions? Okay, well, thank you so much for joining. I hope you found this information valuable. I am going to follow up with everybody, and I'll send you my contact information um, with the uh, the a mailing list file format, a couple of the other things that we talked about. Um, Gracie, you'll have my contact information so that we can talk live so I can get your questions answered. And uh, again, just keep in mind, we are a direct mail that can really uh, elevate your marketing because of all the components we discussed. The variable data, which captures the attention of a client, the call to action, which is to get them to your website, to view their home estimate, and then the tracking and responses that go along with that, that show you who is engaging with and who are you being effective with as far as your direct mail pieces go. Again, for those of you who haven't signed up with Corfac yet, after the call you can go to corfac.com, create an account, go into the store, and begin working on an order. Or if you'd like to sign up for one of our automated series, such as the Local Expert Series, uh, or would like more information about our automatic series, I will send that out in the follow-up email as well, and you can simply sign up for one of our, our automated series as well. So thanks so much for joining me for the call today. I went 10 minutes over, so I apologize, but 
Uh, hopefully that was all valuable information and look forward to working with all of you and helping you have uh, a handful more listings this year due to all your course back mailings. And take care. We'll talk soon. Bye.